Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from ExitAutomation.com and welcome to another video for Test Project video series. And in this video, we'll be talking about Test Project C Sharp Open SDK with SpecFlow integration. So this is one of the amazing thing about integrating SpecFlow project with Test Project's Open SDK. This is really, really cool because having Test Project C Sharp Open SDK and SpecFlow integration will enable our existing project, which has SpecFlow in it, can start leveraging the power of test projects open SDK to run on the cloud as well as on the local machine and get all the real power of cloud orchestrations and running the test in multiple machines and getting the beautiful automatic report by just a simple single core change. That is one of the major benefit of having test project C sharp open SDK with specflow itself. So specflow is quite popular PDD tool, which we already know, which helps perform behavioral driven development, making all the team members like BA, QA, devs, DevOps to be on the same page. We already know about SpecFlow. It's an amazing tool. It's a cucumber for .NET world. We already know about that. We're not really going to talk about SpecFlow itself, but we'll see how the power of SpecFlow can be used within our existing code base, but with the help of Test Project's Open SDK. The only prerequisite that we have to add within our existing code, apart from the test projects open SDK library, is going to be the test projects open SDK.specflow plugin. So if we have this test project.open SDK.specflow plugin, including our existing test project codes and everything, this is the only extra dependency that we'll be adding in our existing code, which is nothing but this one, the test project open SDK.specflow plugin. And once we have this, we'll automatically start getting a beautiful, nice looking report within the test project platform using the automatic reporting option, something like this. And as you can see, it has the steps, like given I navigate to the application, given I click the login link, given I enter the username and password, gonna click the login, and then I should see the uh, logged in state of the application. It says everything. You can also get the summary report and full report and everything. So the collaboration of SpecFlow in test project is quite awesome. So let's quickly see everything in action that we have discussed so far. So in order to actually run a specflow code within our test project, I'm actually going to use one of the project which is sitting in the exit automation repo on Selenium with C-sharp net core. So this is a .NET core based project of Selenium C-sharp with specflow integration. And as you can go into the project, you can see there is a feature file and also it has step definition files over here and it has all the contest injections and stuff. It is quite, a lot of code sitting in already and we don't really have to necessarily write again the, to prove the case that it is going to be running on the test project platform by rewriting the code from the ground up. So we are actually going to use the existing code. So I'm just going to copy this particular repo URL and then we're going to clone on our machine. So we're going to create a directory called as TP specflow and we're going to do a git clone of this. And we can open up this project in the TP spec flow and we'll see how it actually looks. So this project is quite like five months old. And because the test project team expects the libraries to be up to date, like the latest version, it's always better to actually go to the dependencies over here and update all the dependencies so that we don't really get any conflicting messages while we try installing the test project libraries over here. So I'm just going to select all of them except the web driver manager probably. And we're gonna go to the browse and we're gonna search for test project. But before actually doing that, let's go to our existing code and we'll see how the existing code is gonna look like. The existing code in this particular project, as you can see on the hooks, it actually uses the web driver managers, driver manager dot setup of the Chrome config. And it is using the Chrome options to be passed over here and it runs the test for us. And again, it's a BDD based spec flow scenarios, as you can see, and it has the step definitions where it actually uses the step definition for us to run those tests for us. So if I just try to run this particular login feature this time, this test is actually going to be running within my local machine using the local Chrome driver, as you can see over here. And the test has got successfully completed and you can see that it has got green as well, which is all good, but we don't really have any report other than this particular report, as you can see, because this particular standard output is also coming because we have spec flow installed within our 
Visual Studio's project over here. And also we have installed the NUnit 3 test adapter, which brings you up this particular test execution coming in over here and also shows you all these details. But now that we are actually gonna be running this particular test with the help of test projects, open SDK and within the test project agent, which is installed within our machine. So we have to somehow tell the test project platform that, hey, test project platform, we are gonna be running our test, but we want you to generate the report for us, the automatic report for us. So in order to do that, we need to do two things as usual. The one is we need to install the dependencies for the open SDK. And also we need to get the token which is required to communicate from our local test, which is running on the test agent to the test projects platform. So in order to do that, let's first install the dependencies, which I'm gonna do using this manage NuGet package dependencies. And I'm gonna search for test project. And we're gonna install this open SDK, just like how we did in our earlier video on the test project open SDK demonstration. And we're also gonna install this new test project open SDK or specflow plugin. So this is something very much required for the reports to be generated on the test project cloud. So if you don't really have this particular plugin, the reports are not going to be generated on the test project cloud. So this is one thing that we actually need to be installing at the moment so that it generates a report for us on the test project cloud. So I'm just gonna install this one as well. And now the only thing which we need to change as usual is gonna be on the hooks file over here instead of the web driver manager code over here, or at least this one, we are just gonna make use of the Chrome driver, which is gonna be coming from the test project. So I'm just gonna remove this particular dependency. I'm also gonna remove this Chrome option because I don't really require that. Just add control dot over here. Instead of the open QA dot selenium dot Chrome, we're gonna use the test project dot open SDK dot driver dot web, this one and we don't really have to pass any options here but just that we need to pass the token again the token we can pass it in two way in one we can pass the token directly over here as a string we can pass like a private variable or we can create a run settings which can actually be helpful for us to run the test while we run from the cloud or if we package it up and run it on the test project cloud so we require something called as run settings file. So we can create this run settings file much, much easily by doing add new item, select a settings. Uh, and instead of these settings, I'm gonna say this as run settings. I'm gonna call this as um, tp settings dot run settings. And this setting, actually require a run setting with the run configurations and stuff, which is gonna look something like this. And it includes my dev token as well over here. And this particular dev token you can actually obtain from the test project cloud itself if you go to the integration over here, the get developer token. So you can just copy this and you can paste it over here and that's exactly the same token. And just that you need to note that it requires a run settings, run configuration and the environment variables like this is the structure. You can actually get this from the documentation of test project, but this is the only thing that you need to be adding to make your test to use this particular developer token. And once you have got this particular developer token available within the run settings for you, you don't necessarily have to pass anything at the moment. Everything is passed over here. So we can just leave this guys as it is. So this is the Chrome driver that we need to be adding apart from what we have at the moment over here. The existing code is just this one, just replacing that to the Chrome driver to this one. And now, in order to run this particular test, we actually need to tell this test to use the run settings that we have created, this one. So this we can do using two way. One is go to the options and choose the auto detect run settings file, which will automatically detect for you, or if you are thinking that it is not detecting for some reason as it is happening in my machine, you can actually select the run settings file over here. And then if you try running the test, it is actually gonna be running the test this time 
on the test project agent over here as you can see the web driver is coming up the chrome browser is opening and if i go to the platform go to the monitor you could see that it is currently running the test for me over here and it is entering the username and password auto generated by local execution so it's running the test for me and you can see that the project is actually a feature uh, the login feature as you can see the name comes in the feature as the login feature that's what we are running and if you go to the report this time and if you see this report it actually shows you a nice little report and again it's showing me a different uh, time frame over here the reason being it is actually taking up the existing report as well because it's the same feature name we can actually change the feature name as well just in case and if we try running them again it is going to be generating a new report for us on the test project so this is the way that we can actually run our existing project or our existing code on the test project platform using the test projects open sdk and the specflow integration and we can see how it actually works and you can see that this time the feature actually has got the name as login feature because that's what we gave and it is going to generate a whole new report this time something like this like login feature and generates the report for us and this is quite cool because it gives you a full report with all the details of the step definitions coming in and also says the result as pass 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 if it is so this is the way we can actually change our existing selenium c sharp spec flow code to test projects open sdk and spec flow code much much easily and harness the power of test projects cloud platform and orchestration in much easier fashion thank you once again for watching this video and you guys have a great day